As I mentioned in the introduction to this section of the course, the site building workflow number five layout includes a whole bunch of different elements, any of which you can do in a completely different order than the one that we're presenting today. We're about to touch on themes, and your theme, as I mentioned, can be applied whenever it's ready, even before the content stage, because your theme and your content are completely separate. So while we're dealing with theming now, literally, it could be dealt with at any point during the site building workflow. Go ahead over to your site, click on Appearance, and once again, just as a reminder from our beginner class, your installed themes are here. We have an uninstalled theme called Stark, and of course we have our Bartik 8.03. Click on the word Settings, and you'll see all of the settings for Bartik. If you've used Drupal before, you'll notice that some things are missing. Remember, those have been moved into blocks because blocks are now entities. All right, head over to drupal.org slash project slash themes, and you'll find that there are 2,259 themes at the time of this recording. If we switch that to Drupal 8, that's going to drop dramatically because, again, at the time of this recording, we're still fairly early in the Drupal release cycle. So there is Bootstrap, Adminimal, Mayo, Zurb, Adaptive Theme has a dev version. Again, most of these are in dev even still. So we're going to choose today a simple theme called Mayo. Mayo is in release 1.1. Go ahead and right click on the tar and copy that link or copy that link location. Head back over to your site and let's install a new theme. Click on Appearance and Install New Theme. Paste and Install. Installing themes is that simple. Let's go ahead and install that newly added theme. If I scroll down, you'll see Mayo 8.x 1.1. Go ahead and click Install and Set as Default. That's been set up as our default theme. If I click on the word Settings, once again, I get to choose my color scheme. And there's a whole bunch of options here. Toggle Display. I can add a logo. Shortcut Icon Settings. Font Settings. So this is a nice theme as it does go a little bit beyond basic Bartik. And you'll see even some settings here for our layout, what our vertical margins are, our page margins, and other options here for our layout styles. Big screen sidebar. I can put them both on the left and the right, or both on the left and both on the right. The sidebar widths. And so you get to see there's a little bit of extra help here, as well as tablet, landscape and portrait settings, and small touch or smartphone settings. And this is really great. Right inside my theme, I have the ability to set up my layouts of my theme and not have to go through and create all of my own CSS. That's really, really helpful. I can add round corners. I can have advanced header settings, border widths, icons, backgrounds, etc. And here under miscellaneous, I can even use dark message colors. Well, I'm going to change the basic color set because I really don't like that yellow. Uh, I think I'm in a blue sky kind of mood today. You'll see the colors that that's going to create then. Choose a color scheme, scroll down, and click Save Configuration. And head over to your front page of your site. Now, one thing to remember, of course, always Themes in Drupal never change content. So if I go to my home page, I have my welcome, my search, my tools. But guess what's missing? Well, of course, my menu is gone. So the next thing we always do when we add our theme is configure our blocks. So I'm going to go to Structure and Block Layout. And you'll see that a lot of the block regions have changed. Demonstrate block regions for Mayo. And there is a menu bar block region here, which doesn't exist in Bartik. Well, then I know how to get my menu back, don't I? Click Exit Block Region Demonstrations. 
scroll down here to the menu bar and place a block. Find the main menu block or main navigation block. Click place block. We'll not display the title because that's kind of silly and we'll click save block. Scroll down, click save blocks and go back to your site and there's our menus. And so we've got our theme basically set up.